You had an emergency. Your computer crashed. Your dog ate all your hard work. What are you going to do? Email your professor, of course. What's up, guys? You're watching PhD Journey, where I'm documenting my experience as an online doctoral student, and I'm sharing with you the tips and tricks that I learn along the way. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stop by and visit me on Instagram. It really helps me out. Okay, so maybe you don't have a major homework emergency, although I can safely bet that we've all had at least one sometime in our lives. But sometimes you just need to email your professor. It might be to confirm the due date of an assignment or just ask a question about a topic you're studying. As an online student, communication with your professor becomes even more important because you never see them, literally ever, unless you have some kind of in-person part of your curriculum or you go to school in person, then I guess you would see your professor all the time. I wouldn't know, I've never gone to college in person. Do you see your professor all the time? Or is it just a TA? Let me know. There have been many instances where I've read the instructions to an assignment or a syllabus and been left completely completely confused. That's one of the times that I reach out. Obviously, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time working on something just to have it done incorrectly. You might think that emailing a professor is easy, and it is. And if you have no problem doing it, then you really don't need to watch this video. But I remember when I first started school online, I wasn't sure what to say and what to include in my email communications with my professors. Since then, I've written tons of emails, and if you find yourself in that same situation that I was, here you go how to write an email to your professor. For the sake of this exercise, we're gonna assume that you don't already have a working relationship with your professor. If you do, then your communications will likely be a lot less formal. You might even be texting, I don't know. So you've got your question in mind and you're ready to write an email. The first thing you should do is review your course material. Don't waste your time and the professor's by asking a question that has been clearly answered in the syllabus or assignment instructions. If you can't find anything there, then move on to step two. Read any materials your professor has provided at the beginning of class. They typically provide contact information and office hours, and some even include more detailed instructions for the best way to get a hold of them. Follow their instructions for the best result. Don't email them on a Wednesday and expect them to get back to you Thursday when they tell you it takes three days to get back to an email. And don't call them on Friday when they say they only take calls on Monday. Pretty simple stuff. Also, check out your school policies. There may be guidelines for a required timeline that online professors have to respond to student communications. If you have a professor who is chronically slow about providing vital information and that's causing you to be late on your assignments, you might wanna think about escalating the issue to a chair or a department head. Step three, write the email. Add your class designator and quarter or term that you're in in the subject line along with the actual subject. This will help your professor understand the context of your email better. Step four, keep it short and to the point. Online professors usually have a lot going on. I mean, really any professor has a lot going on. That's why we've included the name of your class in the subject line because they usually teach multiple classes with different subjects. Helps them remember where you are. Also. Don't give the 10 page backstory to your request. Just communicate the necessary details and then ask the question. So for our example email, we'll say that we're asking for an extension. For our subject line, I include the class designator and term. So let's get started. We're gonna send this to Mr. Smart Guy at school.com. Then we're going to put our subject, which is an assignment extension. And you wanna be right up front with that. Don't beat around the bush. You want them to be able to know what you're asking for by the subject line of the email. So we'll write assignment extension request. Then I'll be sure to add the name of the class like we already talked about. Policy in this case, 701B term. Oh, not term, B term. Then for the body. So I'll say professor, smart guy. I have been working on the paper due Friday about the history of American political parties. But my computer crashed when I was about halfway through. Would you consider granting me guys spell check is everything. Oh no. Consider granting me a three-day extension to complete it. Thank you, Royce Morris. One, this is not my real phone number because I don't want you people calling me. And then 
my email. Looks like always getting gas, but it's really always getting A's because I'm always getting A's, just kidding. All right, we've got the email written and my daughter screaming in the background because she doesn't like taking naps. Hashtag real life. So a couple other things to consider. If you're not sure if your instructor is a PhD or what their title should be, I would just err on the side of calling them a professor. It's best not to offend someone at the beginning of an email if you can avoid it, especially if you're asking them for something. You can also check any emails they've sent you to see what title they use. Also, don't make up an excuse. Have some integrity. <laughs> if you need more time, say so. If the material is challenging, tell your professor, but be realistic. Don't ask for a three month extension or a complete do over. Be honest, ask for what you need, and don't make stuff up. Getting an A is not worth your integrity. So this is how I go about writing emails to my professors. And I've had good success with getting the responses that I'm looking for. What's your experience emailing your professors? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget that there are other ways you can reach out. Many of my professors provide their phone numbers and they're willing to meet up via Skype or other video chat services to help me along. Don't be afraid to reach out. Despite what anyone might say, professors are there to provide instruction. They're there to help you learn. Plus, you're paying for this. Get everything out of it that you can. All right, I'm gonna get back to writing myself. No, that's a whole other thing, that reflexive pronoun. That's another video. I'm gonna get back to writing. Today, I'm working on a 12-page paper comparing economic policies of presidential candidates. Fun. Did you find any of this helpful? If so, would you leave a thumbs up? What do you want me to talk about next? What questions do you have? Let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.